Sintering Furnace Recipes. We're going to create that now. So we're going to create Sintering Furnace Recipes. I'm going to put it in the same place. I'm going to copy it in again. I'm going to import everything with Control Shift O. When you paste this in and import it, you want the Google entry. You want the Google table and the Google Maps. And the java.util.map. Sorry, for the entry import, you want the java.util.map.entry. And now everything's in here, I'm going to go through and explain it. So we create an instance of Sintering Furnace Recipes. As we can't access this directly, so we've got to create an instance. We just create a new of itself. We then create a table. This is what's going to store the recipe. We have our two item stack inputs and an item stack output. This is called the smelting list, the list of smelting recipes. And this is a hash based table of three item stacks which we're going to create. There's then a map for experience where we get the item stack output here and the amount of experience it gives out called experience list which we create a new hash map for. There is the get instance function we return instance and in here private sintering furnace recipes is where you will input a recipe. I'll go and create one of them in a minute but for now I'm going to go through and explain how the add recipe works. So if we get this sintering result and it's not empty you return this put function is the same as add but for tables and lists. We put the input one, input two and result into the list and for experience um, we put the result and the value of experience in float form and add a recipe. This gets entering result function. So up here we have a um, an entry for input one which runs the amount of times we have the smelting list for. Everything below this does. The amount of entries we have. We compare the input one to the entry key. So whatever the entry is stored. And if it um, is the same we continue we then do the same thing for the second entry compare it to make sure it's the same and we return the en entry value so this is what the result will be else we return an empty item stack the compare item stacks function all it does is we get the item of the stack if it's the same we return true all you need to think about is the metadata is the same and the items are the same, then that it returns true. We just get the list here by returning the smelting list. And for getting the experience, we have an entry of the item stack, um, the output, and the amount of experience called entry. And we run it for the amount of things in the experience list. We compare them um, to make sure it's the right thing. And we return the float value, else we return nothing. So now we've gone through that. We are going to add sintering recipe, the item stack one, a new item stack. This can be any of your custom items or it can be something else. I'm going to have it be, we smelt a Santa hat, why not? And we also smelt some gold ore. It outputs, it outputs an acacia door, why not? This also needs to be a new item stack. And the amount of experience it gives, 5.0f. I haven't played around with how much experience this actually is, so you'll have to play around with yourself and um, gain a, a good amount of experience. So thanks for watching this video guys, so please do leave a like down below and subscribe for the next part of this tutorial where we'll be doing containers and maybe GUIs in the same episode. So thanks for watching, my name's been Harry and goodbye.